This tutorial is going to show you how to make a rear axle of a drift trike. Uh, first we're going to start with the back pegs. We're going to use inch and a quarter round tube and two grade 8 bolts. Right here I'm cutting off the back section for each peg. I'm going to do this twice. Um, the way we're going to be having the, the back bolts, we're going to thread it through the washer. We're going to weld it on to the back tube of it. Uh, right here I'm welding the washer to the bolt to have that back spindle. I want to make sure that's flat so I'm not going to get all wobbly when I'm going quick. Right here I'm going to be putting the washer right onto the other tube which is going to be the back peg. It's important to make sure it's all flat. You want to have everything all, all straight. There it is all cleaned up. Uh, that back end was open so what I'm going to do here is put on some little caps just plasma outing some circles Got the circles right there, and just uh, welding them right onto the back. There we go. Got it all welded all around. Going to do that two times. Now I'm going to clean it up, make sure it looks nice. Ground it off all those edges, and there you go. So I've got two of those. Here I'm creating the angle that's going to be going from the back pegs up to the seat. I wanted them to be about 70 degrees, so right here I'm finding 20 degrees and I'm marking it. Um, there they go. I'm just going to be making a line going up there and, and cutting. It's not the best way to do it. I was just kind of playing around with trying to find different angles. I'm cutting that out with a bandsaw and tack weld them in. So right there I've got it mocked up and right here I'm showing that it's uh, level I'm right there at zero and I want to make sure that each side was 70 degrees. So I just pulled, the, pulled out my compass and here we go. This is another way that I found the, the second angles I was looking for. I took some Gorilla Tape, I found the angle that I wanted, wrapped it. Now I'm just rubbing the edges to get a template. And once I, I take that off and I've got a little template. I put it on the pipe, cut that pipe out. I do the same thing on the other side. Here I'm doing the other side pulling the piece of tape off and I just got my template. So laid it on the pipe, cut it out, did it uh, for both sides and there's my angle. So here I'm making sure that each arm for the rear wheel is at, at the right angle. So I just laid one right over the top. I put a tack weld in there. Made sure they're plumb, checked it again and finish welding that. This here is the, the center brace where they're all going to meet. I drilled the holes through them and now I can fit each leg in there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I've got a square. I'm making sure that it's square. Measuring it from the center all the way down to the back and tack weld everything in there. And just finish the welds all the way around. There we have it.